Okay, welcome uh, anatomy students. We're taking a look today at dissection number 12, which is the dissection of the superficial lateral thigh and hip muscles. Um, as we look here, this is a finished product. What we should be seeing here, you'll see this line right here. This muscle is what we call the biceps femoris. You see another muscle right here. This is called the caudo femoralis. You'll see this bulge of a muscle that's kind of trapped inside this fascia. This is called the tensor fascia latte. You'll also see a large muscle that kind of tucks underneath. This is the gluteus medius. And then you'll see a thinner kind of muscle sitting above it called the gluteus maximus. And then we can even see a little bit of a peak in here. We see the vastus lateralis. Okay, so the goal of this dissection is to expose these muscles and have them all cleaned up. Let's begin at the very start. Okay. And we'll go through this. All right. First step is to uh, kind of dig down the uh, muscle that you're seeing right there that my fingers are under. This muscle is the actually the sartorius muscle that we we're actually lifting up. We cut it. The other end of it is over here. So these two were one together. So we'll let this, uh, we're just kind of starting there and peeling off some of the fascia. There you can start seeing the tensor fascia latte starting to show up right around there. Okay, a lot of connective tissue is going to be peeled back. Make sure you don't use the hip that you maybe if you damaged it while looking for the multifidus spinae, maybe don't use that hip. Okay, uh, again you see a nice clear view of the tensor fascia latte right here. Alright, as we clear it up more, might have to, I'm using the skin as a little pillow there. Alright, we're going to get deep underneath. There's a very, very thick layer of fascia. You actually had to cut it in order to see the vastus lateralis. You can actually see that cut that was made up here to maybe to see that vastus lateralis in dissection number 11. We're going to get our probe actually underneath the biceps femoris. There we go, I'm getting through all of that. You can now see a really good view of my vastus lateralis, which is one of our quadricep muscles. And now we're getting underneath the biceps femoris. Biceps femoris is what makes up the outside por portion or the lateral portion of your hamstring. Okay, there we go. Big, big muscle. This will be the largest muscle that you're going to be dissecting here. It's kind of similar to that latissimus dorsi. Very thick, very large. Uh, only stick your finger under. That's kind of the goal. Uh, what you can see I'm doing right now is I'm getting my probe in between the biceps femoris and another muscle called the caudo femoralis. So if we see that right there, hopefully you'll see there is a line that you're going to free up and keep the biceps femoris separate from the caudo femoralis. We are eventually going to be cutting through just the biceps femoris, and I do not want you to accidentally cut the caudo femoralis. The caudal femoralis is going to become a very, very, very thin little uh, connective tissue strip down here. Okay, so it's very easy to tear, but part of the dissection is to keep him intact while we slice through the biceps femoris in dissection 13. Okay, so we'll free this up. Lots of connective tissue, very, very thick stuff. As we work our way up the hip, we're going to find the gluteal muscles. They're not nearly as large as they'd be on a human. Obviously, gluteus maximus, you know, the booty muscles. Uh, we're going to make a, uh, we're going to start peeling off fascia and try to expose and see where the gluteus medius, which is actually more anterior, uh, is larger than the small band of the gluteus maximus. And the only thing we need to use here is the probe. I'm looking for a line of the caudo femoralis, so I'm going to go ahead and free up the caudo femoralis, go all the way up to the midline. And in doing so, I'm going to remove the covering of the gluteal muscles. Okay, so currently I'm starting, you can see I'm actually underneath the gluteus maximus. I'm actually going to use my scissors here just so we can highlight these out. Okay, caudo femoralis is going to come all the way up to the midline. You're going to see this other muscle here. This is the gluteus maximus. Again, caudo femoralis. This would be the biceps femoris. And then you're going to see this larger muscle that's running here, running that kind of direction. 
you're going to see the uh, gluteus medius. Trying to get off this tough fascia. It's very difficult to remove. Uh, tendency a lot of times is as you pull it up, it might start to tear and shred the gluteus muscle underneath. So I got my probe under the maximus. Now I'm underneath the caudo femoralis. I'm going to purposely separate them all from each other. And uh, it's a pretty straightforward dissection from here. Try not to shove your probe under the biceps femoris. There are some uh, very delicate muscles under there I don't want you to tear up that we're going to look at for dissection 13, mainly the tenuissimus and the sciatic nerve. Very good. So now I'm going along that line of the caudo femoralis all the way up to the midline. I'm separating it from the gluteus maximus. Okay, starting to get a really good view, I hope. Again, I'll remove the extra fascia. Okay, there I'm under the gluteus maximus. We don't need to get under the gluteus medius. We just leave him there so you can see him really well. Okay. Again, cutting off the extra fascia I don't need. Okay, now it's time, it looks like, to separate the biceps femoris from the cauda femoralis. Keep in mind, we are going to transect just the biceps femoris. So here we go. We're separating the two from each other. And you can actually see how thin the caudo femoralis becomes. The caudo femoralis is not a muscle found in humans. It's a cat only. But you can see now they are both separate from each other. And I'll have no difficulty cutting through the biceps femoris without cutting the caudo femoralis. And again, I got my tensor fascia latte right there on the side. All right, and we'll just pause it right here. And we'll just highlight these all again really quickly. All right, I'm going to circle them. There's a muscle right here. There's a muscle right here. Another muscle right here. Another long muscle coming down this way. And then, of course, this very, very large muscle that runs here. Okay, so let's see if you can think of which ones are which. All right, one, two, three, four, five. So five muscles you should be able to figure out. Muscle one, biceps femoris. Number two, caudo femoralis. Three, gluteus maximus. Four, gluteus medius. Notice it is larger than the maximus. And five, tensor fascia latte. And then you can, of course, see down here a muscle that we saw earlier, the vastus lateralis that runs all the way underneath this, the outermost gluteal muscle. All right, so that's it. That's dissection number 12. We'll see you in class.